We hear a lot about people breaking world records, but what about dogs? A bulldog called Otto has set the record for the longest human tunnel travelled through by a dog on a skateboard. Yes, it did exist. As you can see, he managed to navigate his way through the legs of 30 people in Peru rather skillfully. He even pushed himself along. Brilliant. Not to be outdone by animals on Guinness World Record Day, some 650,000 people have been hitting new highs or maybe lows. Here's Kenichi Ito in Japan doing the fastest 100 metres running on all fours. And a British stunt driver has broken the record for the tightest parallel park in reverse. Alistair Moffat somehow managed to squeeze between two cars, leaving a combined gap of 34 centimetres, beating the previous record by just one centimetre. He came in earlier, along with Craig Glenday from the Guinness World Records. Gentlemen, welcome. Uh, Alistair, congratulations. What a record to break. One of several that you've got, actually. Um, how, do you, how do you prepare? How do you set yourself up to break this kind of record, reverse um, parallel parking? Uh, just practice, really. So just keep on practicing. Where mate. do you practice? Um, uh, not in any supermarket car parks or anything. <laughs> so uh, private. And private that's not venue. you I've seen then. No, okay. no, it wasn't me. So no, just private, private um, estates or, or venues, and basically practice on that. There you are, absolutely nailing it. And those other two cars belong to you as well, which is important to point out. Uh, yes. No, I couldn't find any willing volunteers to park their cars there for the day, no. But you didn't damage the minis, but you do get through an awful lot of tyres, don't you? It's an expensive business. It is, yeah. So it's uh, all self-funded and it was uh, all on a quest to be the best in the world at parking. So. <laughs> and you got the record by just the one centimetre because you do have an arch rival for this kind of record in Germany, don't you? I do, yeah. So Ronnie Searock, yeah. Ronnie Searock. So he's going to be pretty cross today. Um, I would have thought so, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm sure he'll uh, come back and we'll, uh, we'll have a bit of a uh, dice trying to, him uh, trying to get it back, possibly. So. Craig, loads of records being broken around the world today. Is it fair to say there are different levels of records? Because what Alice has done is obviously an achievement, mm. but there are some, how can I put this, slightly daft things going on that, that could possibly undermine the skill that someone like Alistair has. But it's, it's all relative, I think. But yes, yeah, some records we accept are easier to try um, you know, yours obviously else is very, very skilled record. Um, the largest gathering of people dressed as penguins, you just need a penguin outfit. Yes. Um, but that's I, good. I could do that. Yeah. But what that does is it makes it sort of very fair. Anyone can have a go. And the, and the whole point of today is to say, if you want to try uh, a record, why not give it a go today? Have a go. Join 650,000 other people and maybe you'll get your name in the next edition of the book. D doesn't it dilute it a bit that there's so many possible records that anyone could possibly break one? I mean, you know, it's important that we know who the fastest man on the planet is and Usain Bolt, but is it important that we know who the fastest person on all fours is? Well, if you're that person, yeah. Um, I think it's fascinating. We, uh, as a sort of society, we choose to celebrate certain things. So why the 100 metres on two feet but not on all fours? Why is it any less impressive? I mean, look at him. It's, it's an incredible stunt. It is quite impressive, um, but the stadium's pretty empty. I mean, well, people aren't turning up to see this in their <laughs> if droves, this was an they? Olympic sport, though, um, so who decides on what, what's acceptable as a, a sport? Why is there synchronised swimming or the triple jump? Why the hop, skip and the leap? It's just such an arbitrary decision. So what we do at Guinness World Records is say all of these things are impressive. He is just as dedicated to his art of running on um, all fours as Usain Bolt is. Yeah. I think these guys are really impressive athletes. They don't get celebrated. And what we say is, why well, we should celebrate all these people because they're all doing incredible things. And is there one X for you? Um, I don't know. Oh, jeez. Oh, we'll find another record to try and beat, so. You can run on all fours. Uh, not, no, no, you're not really no, no not that one, no.